CNA is indicted for stealing a peer's identity to gain work at a nursing home. New rule would shield skilled care providers from violating their religious principles. And doctors start a GoFundMe page to raise dollars for long-term care beds. This and more next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. The state of New Jersey indicted a former certified nurse aide on Monday for stealing someone's identity to earn a position at a nursing home. Christine Sanford, 31, allegedly gave the name of another CNA in November to get hired at the Bernagat Rehabilitation and Nursing Center. She needed to use another person's name because her own certification had been revoked by the New Jersey Department of Health. The DPH had found in 2017 that Sanford was unqualified for certification under state law. She's been charged with forgery, identity theft, and uttering of false government documents. Such third-degree crimes carry a maximum sentence of five years in state prison and a fine of up to $15,000. Skilled care employees will not be required to perform duties that violate their religious beliefs under a rule that was finalized on Thursday. The conscious rule will exempt healthcare staffers from participating in assisted suicides, executing problematic advanced directives, or carrying out vaccinations. Trump administration officials said this announcement fulfills presidential promises to protect workers' religious freedoms. HHS noted that the final rule replaces a 2011 version that, quote, has proven inadequate. The conscious rule implements about 25 provisions passed by Congress to protect workers' religious freedom on the job, according to the announcement. It will become effective 60 days after publication in the Federal Register. We'll be back right after this break. Want a better way to invest in yourself as a CNA and for only 10 cents per day? There's no better way to spend your daily dime. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Click on membership, fill out a few boxes, submit, and you're in. With the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, you can begin your journey. With these great benefits that include 12 hours of education with the NACA Virtual Campus of Care. Our monthly newsletter, the NACA Edge, will come straight to your email with a special recognition to you registration discount to CNA Fest, NACA's annual CNA gathering just outside of Little Rock, Arkansas. 10% off anything in the NACA Pro Shop. CNA TV, our YouTube channel that focuses on topics, current events that pertain to what a CNA is all about, and much more. Start right here at NACACNA.org. Fed up with a lack of long-term care beds in Nova Scotia, a group of Canadian doctors has launched a social media campaign to raise funds and fill the care gap. Three emergency room physicians last month launched a GoFundMe page to bankroll more nursing facility beds in the Canadian province, and they're also drumming up support on Twitter. They're frustrated with how many elderly patients are waiting in emergency room beds at the Valley Regional Hospital in Kentville rather than a nursing home, creating a worsening logjam. Advocacy is the main drive of the social media campaign with the funds a secondary consideration, the doctors say. Demand for nursing home beds has long outpaced supply in Nova Scotia, but the government has not added a new skilled nursing facility bed since 2013. The three ER physicians estimate that thousands of new beds are needed to serve the province's aging population and acknowledge their fundraiser would only scratch the surface. As of Monday, the page has raised almost $2,000 toward its $100,000 target. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.